I'm going to be showing you what I pack for a school camp. Now in this case it's my year 6 residential, it's the day before we go and I'm super excited. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to pack. So guys, that is all the intro, so let's get on with the video. The teachers actually gave us a little script of what we had to get. So this is all the stuff that was on like the piece of paper. So I'm going to take you through what I'm going to pack. This bag is going to be for all the toiletries and then like my blankets and that. And then this one here is going to be food and clothes. The first thing that I'm going to pack is my blanket because it's the biggest thing. So I'm going to need this bag. And the blanket I'm taking is um, this really nice pink fluffy pom-pom one that I got from a challenge that I did. Whatever I draw, my mum will buy it challenge and it was so fun. So you should definitely go check it out. And this is one of the things that we got in the video. It was from Next in the homeware section. So I'm going to pack this in. It's really big so hopefully it'll fit. Just push it down in there. So that should be good. Hello, Missy. <laughs> so I've packed that. So the next thing, I'm actually going to show you my sleeping bag next because it's related. So guys, this is actually my brother's sleeping bag because my sleeping bag is too small for me now. But this is a massive one and I'm super excited because it's so soft and really and it has a couple pockets inside so i can keep some sweets to know which i'm happy about i've got my pillow here which i am going to carry to i'm probably going to put it in like this little pocket thing here because it's just easier but yeah i've got my pillow so that's like the sleeping stuff sorted so the next thing i'm going to show you is the toiletries so here's all the stuff inside i'm going to take you so the first thing that they said you need to bring is some hand soap so I, just, I already had some stickers on this from when I made slime and we needed to pack this I think it's because they like what, don't want sharing I don't know but they told us to pack it so I've got some I'm taking this frizz tamer just in case my hair gets it's super frizzy when my hair gets wet so I've got that then I've also got the normal things I've got like body washes and shower gel that's Ted Bacon, this is the body shop. And then we've also just got some hand gel, just like in case I go to the toilet. And then we've also got shampoo and conditioner. And the reason why I have it in these bottles here is because I couldn't find any mini bottles to put the shampoo and conditioner in. And we've got such big bottles, so I just wrote like shampoo and conditioner on them. And then that will be good. And then the next thing I got is some Zoella perfume. I spray this on myself every day and I love it so much. It just smells amazing. <laughs> and then I also got a mirror. I actually don't need that. So guys, I was going to take this body butter, but I don't think I need it anymore because I just don't. <laughs> and the last thing is I have some moisturiser because when I'm in the pool, when I come out of water, my skin goes really dry. So that's why I've got that. Okay, so I've also got my toothbrush and a mini toothpaste for obvious reasons, but I'm just going to put that in there. And then that should be it for that. So I'm going to put that in there. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my hay fever stuff because I've got really bad hay fever. So I've got some like syrup that you use to stop it. And then also some eye drops that I use four times a day because it really helps. So I use that. So I'm going to give this to the teacher because they said if you have any like medicine that you need to give it to them. So I'm going to keep that out for tomorrow morning. And then also it's not going to be sunny. It even said on the weather forecast apparently it's going to be rain. Which is okay because we're going to be in the water most of the time anyway. But we've got some sun cream just in case. I'm going to put that in there. And then also I'm just going to put this in that bag anyway. I've got my two teddies, I've got this sausage dog that I always use and the pug. I always take these wherever I go. I don't know why, I just do. I'm going to put them in there because it has a blanket in there. I also got this toy. It's like where you have a ball and it's like sticking you, like have two people and you throw the ball and try and catch it and stick it on that. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of this before. But if you haven't, there you go. <laughs> but I'm going to take this just so we can play something in the tent if we get a little bit bored. We got this from Matalan for £3, which I think is really good. So 
so I'm just gonna put that in there like somewhere. Hopefully my dogs don't see this ball because they will go absolutely mental for it. The last two things that I'm gonna put in here, hopefully they'll fit, is a notepad and a pen. Luckily these are both fluffy. This is a pastel fluffy um, notepad from Paper Chase and then this is also from B&M and it is an avocado fluffy pen. Now that bag is pretty full, I'm pretty sure I'm going to really struggle by carrying this but I guess I'm going to have to. Normally when we go on trips I normally take this holographic suitcase. Mum's going to help me closing that in a minute but now let's move on to the clothes. So guys, now it's time to move on to the pajamas. So I've got this nighty, and it's like a cactus. It says, you grow girl, and it's super pretty. I love it. So we've got that one. I'm gonna put this at the bottom because that's the last thing that I'm gonna need. And then I've also got another nighty that came in a set with this and it's got cactuses all over it and I love it. So we're only staying there for two nights and three days. <laughs> So I'm going to need two, so that is my two um, pyjamas, so I'm going to put that at the bottom of the bag. And under that I'm going to put these shorts. Guys, do you like the little tacos? I love these, they are so fluffy. I got them like in a video I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, but let's put that in. So now it's going to be time to show you like my outfits that I'm going to wear and my swim costume. So the first thing is my swimming costume. It's got pineapples all over it and it's got these really cute pom poms at the top. So we're going to be doing lots of water sports, so we're definitely going to need that. So the first thing that we're going to need is obviously the jumpers to keep warm. And I really love this jumper. It says, sorry I'm late. It either says, I saw a puppy, I saw a mermaid, and then it ticked, I saw a unicorn, and then it has a little unicorn at the bottom. I think that's a pretty good excuse for school. I might, I might say that next time. <laughs> So now let's fold it up. Fit it in. <clears throat> and the next jumper I got is my Levers jumper. I'm not actually going to show you it because it has my school logo on it, but I got the hot pink one because I feel like it goes with most of my outfits. And I love hot pink. Obviously has my school logo and also the the 19 with tons of with all of my friends names on it and everybody in year six so that's really cool. I'm actually gonna wear this tomorrow to go up to residential. And then the top that I'm going to be wearing under that is this super pretty like it's a tie-dye pink top and I love it so much. It says take me on vacation. I think I'm coming up with a cold because my voice has gone very weird. <coughs> I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> so this is the top I'm going to be wearing under that, so obviously I'm not going to pack that. But what I will be packing is this super cute top that says Mini Boss, which I love, in like rose gold writing and then it's like a grey top. I really love that. When I got these, I tried to get like oversized t-shirts just so it would be nice and warm. So now I'm going to put this one in. And also, this is one of my old t-shirts so that's really comfy, so I just decided to pack it. It says, glitter makes me happy. And it's a great t-shirt. So the next top that I got, it's a French Bulldog. The sequins go up and down, but they don't change color. And the last t-shirt that I got is this super pretty blue t-shirt. It says, California Dreaming and it's really pretty and it's got this little cute thing at the end which I really love on tops I know this is quite a lot of t-shirts but I'll be probably changing in in the evenings and then also I have three pairs of leggings I'm actually going to keep one pair out because I need them for tomorrow I'm going super comfy and just wearing leggings the whole three days not just for comfort but also because we're going to be doing climbing and it's just easier to climb in leggings so I'm going to pack those two. So I'm going to take these shoes for comfort because they have like pillows at the bottom of them which I love and also I I got these in a shopping challenge that I did with Rosie and Celeste so make sure you go check that out 
I'm gonna pack them upside down because they're really dirty, but I've worn them a lot, so. If you're going to like a muddy camping place, then it's best that you take shoes so that you don't mind getting dirty. I've got these to wear because I'm gonna wear these in the tent when it is in bedtime because they're really cool sliders and comfy. It's getting really full now, but I think I'm, I've got enough room for snacks. So now it is time for the last clothing item, which is my coat, which I'm gonna be wearing there. I love this coat so much, it's got like fluff inside and it's just a really nice raincoat. So I'm going to be wearing that there so I don't need to pack it. But now time for the best part, the snacks. So of course I've got my lunchbox because you need to take one of these. So inside it I have a Derrily Dunker, a pepperami, a cheese string and also this go ahead like breakfast bar, they're really nice. And then in this little pocket here, I've got a smoothie and some salt and vinegar flavoured crisps. And that is like my favourite lunch right there. And then also to go with that as a drink, which I'm going to be drinking throughout the day, I've got this apple and pear juice inside because we're out of school so you can drink whatever you want. When we're in school, sadly, we have to eat healthy and we're only allowed water, which I hate. I don't really like water, so it's not the best for me, but oh well. So, because we're out of school, I get to drink juice, so that's, like, I'm so happy right now. And then also, these are the snacks that we're going to be having inside the tent. I know the teacher actually said you're allowed, like, tons of sweets in that, except from chocolate, chewing gum, and fizzy drinks. So, I've got some Pringles, because we're going to be in tents with about eight people inside, so I'm go I've got these Pringles to share with everybody. I've also got these fizzy strawberry laces to share. And then also, I have obviously some Haribo Fantastics. And then I have two extra bags of crisps. <laughs> Midnight snacks. And then also I've got some Mentos just so I can have throughout the day. I might take these on the coach with me, but I don't think you're allowed to eat on the coach, so I don't know. But then, drinks wise, I love these smoothies, so I'm definitely gonna be drinking these. And then the last juice that I have is what is in my drinks bottle, and that is these fruit juice, juice apple and pear fruit drink. Now I've got to try and pack that in my bag. I don't think it's gonna be a struggle, but the Pringles, I don't know how we're gonna fit. Mum just said to put them in there, but that's not going to work. So now I'm going to put these in the front, I guess. <laughs> Mum's going to turn the camera off and help me pack. So guys, I've just realised that this is so heavy right now. This bag, I can't even lift up. Well, I can when it's on my back. And this one's really heavy too. And I've got to carry the, um, the sleeping bag. And um, I've got quite a long way to walk, so that's going to be amazing. But without further ado, the shout out today goes to Slime Tastic. That's because they put hashtag and the squad on my community page, so thank you so much for that. That is where the video ends. I hope you like this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you all.